guys welcome back to my channel I am so excited because today I am gonna adopt my first neonate baby there's a few different kinds of neonate babies but today we're gonna adopt a nearly which is the tiniest smallest baby of them all and the one that needs the most care and attention and there's a few kinds of nearlies and we can see them in the back of the box and we are adopting fidgets today. You can find out more about these adorable babies by visiting thestrollerusa.com and you can also watch Nurse Tanya's videos by visiting the YouTube channel, The Stroller USA. This nearly baby needs our help to grow and get stronger and needs lots of love and care. Just like a real baby, our nerdlies need all these items so they can be healthy. Like their shots, we have a chicken pox shot, and all these different kinds because we don't want our babies to be sick. I also have a nerly micro kit that includes diapers, pacifier, band-aids, and even some piercings. And to make sure that they're going to maintain some healthy smiles, we have this neo-orthodontic correctional device set just for our nearly baby. Every nearly comes in a little incubator and it's super super interesting because there's tons of important information on it. But it's very important that we watch the instructional video before we take our baby out of the incubator. There's a lot of steps we need to take to ensure we're giving our baby the best care ever. Here we have a little special care guide which we'll go through shortly. In the Nerly's incubator, we have a drippity drop, which is the essential food supply for the survival of our baby bundle of joy. It says, shake the Nerly drippity drop to activate the mega vitamins. And it looks like Fidget is a little bit disoriented at birth. And we have to administer her drippity drop nightly for two weeks. On the side it says to remove and keep the umbilical cord, then administer the Nerly Drippity Drop. Destiny or coincidence, your Nerly may have a surprise in its diaper. This incubator is directly from Neonatopia with Critter inside. So here in the incubator we have all these different settings and buttons. We're going to open the incubator over here. And it says warning, delicate live being inside. Here we have an air ventilation. Over here it's, it's a little control system because they have a very lazy digestive system. And over here we can pull this out and this is where we're going to rest our neonate baby. So let's start by getting the baby out of the incubator. <gasps> to meet our super adorable baby. Now the first thing we need to do is give her a kiss and a hug. It is super important. Hello, fidgets. Mm. You are the sweetest thing ever and she smells so delicious. Wow, I can't even explain it. Look how adorable she is. She's got two little pigtails and she is just so, so sweet. Now. If you follow the instructional videos, Nurse Tanya gives you step by step on what you need to do. And the first thing we have to do is check her little bracelet. So here she has her little neonate bracelet and we have to write her initials on it. And now we need to hook her up to the drippity drop through her umbilical cord, but before we have to remove it and clean the little area so it doesn't get infected. And here it says, rest the youngling in this zen zone. It has a tenderness activity, a little critter's happiness indicator, lung power, and the primary connection. So we're going to lay her down. And we are going to remove the umbilical cord. And this is my first time doing this. I am a little bit nervous. So I'm going to just take it out. And we're gonna preserve this somewhere so we don't lose it. And with a tiny cotton ball, we're going to clean the area. Aw, fidgets, you are just so adorable. Okay, now that we have cleaned the whole umbilical cord area, 
dripper. We're gonna hook her up to the drippity drop. Gonna shake it a little bit, make sure that the vitamins are activated. So our baby is being fed through the drippity drop and should be administered every evening during the first two weeks after taking it home. We can check his diaper before we filled out his adoption papers. And I'm just going to quickly check to make sure that there is no poopy and, oh, it looks like we have a very clean diaper. And we're gonna move on to the adoption papers. Now we're gonna look at what it came with. So we have all these little papers. Let's see what it is. So we have here, a new nursery identification card. We have to put all the information of our baby. And if you have any questions, you can email Nurse Tanya at the stroller or call this number and ask for Nurse Tanya. That's pretty cool. And it also has a place for the picture, which we have right over here. We also get a neo immunization schedule where it says where all the shots should be given and the height and weight chart. Here we have the schedule of the shots and it tells us the kind of vaccines they need to get and the doses. So thankfully, I have a few of the vaccines now because we need to give them the Hep P vaccine at birth, which is now, and also the IPV. And for the other ones, we need to wait a little bit. And then over here, we have the birth certificate, city and county of Neonatopia. So we need to put all the information of our neonate baby, the name, the name of the parent, the grandparents, our fingerprints. So we're gonna start doing that now. We're gonna start filling out the birth certificate, the child's first name, fidgets of course. Her place of birth is the USA. And I'm gonna say she's a female. And the time of birth, I'm gonna put approximately 2 p.m. The parent information, I'm gonna put my name. And for the grandparents, I'm gonna make all of you guys the baby's grandparents. That would be fun. I'm going to sign right over here. And I'm going to sign for you guys. Birth certificate is complete. Now we can go ahead and fill out the new nursery ID card. We're gonna put little fidget's picture. And now I'm gonna fill out the new immunization schedule. And we need to give him his two shots. His Hep B shot and the IPV. Here, Hep B vaccine and the IPV vaccine. And before I give him a shot, I'm gonna set up all of my baby stuff here, like the ID card and all the paperwork. I do not wanna lose it. We're gonna start with the IPV vaccine. It says protecting neonate babies from the pollinator virus. And it comes with an anti-ouch syringe. Not quite pain-free, just a little prick. And on the back, it gives us instructions on how to vaccinate our neonate baby. We need to open the vaccine container and fill syringe using no more than a quarter of the vaccine. We gotta calm our baby by giving it three kisses, one on the forehead, one on the foot, and one where we're going to give the injection. And we're gently going to poke the syringe head into the designated vaccination cavity and slowly press down on the plunger. The IPV is an ultra strong super vaccine that will protect our baby from developing the pollinator virus that causes fever, tiredness, headache, stiffness in the neck, and pain in the limbs. And here we have our syringe. So we need to just put a tiny, tiny bit. And now let's look at the HEBP vaccine. Protecting the babies from the neonitis B virus. HEBP 
is an ultra-strong vaccine that will protect our baby from developing a not-so-mellow yellow complexion, tummy aches, and puking. Okay, this is definitely important. I also have a little pacifier for my baby and I heard that this will make them feel so much better and I think I'm gonna give it to him now while I give him the shots because I don't want her to be upset even though I know it will probably hurt a little bit. Here you go fidgets, I'm gonna give you this passy and hopefully this will help you relax and not be scared of your vaccine. Put her on this little hospital bed. So let's lay our baby down. And I have to give my baby three little kisses. I'm gonna give her a kiss on the forehead, on the left foot, and where we're gonna give the injection. We're going to start with the IPV vaccine. I'm just gonna verify that we have to give it to her at birth, the first dose. And I also read that if you close her eyes, it will be much easier for them while we give the vaccine. I give it its little kiss on its forehead, on its left foot, and we're gonna be injecting it right on this little belly button. So, mm, mm, mm. And I'm gonna cover my baby's eyes because I heard that makes them feel a little bit better and not as scared. So now we're just going to give the injection. All right, that was really quick and clean it up. Clean it up with the cotton ball. And you did so good. I'm so proud of you. But we have to give you one more. And now I can write today's date for the first dose. And now it's time for the HEBP vaccine. You are such a sweet girl, Fidgets. You're not even scared. I am so proud of you. Good job! Not even a flinch. You are the sweetest little baby ever. Let me see this little baby smile. I am so proud of you. You're the best baby ever. Let's get you back into your incubator. Now you can relax and get some rest. And I'm just gonna write down when we gave this first dose of Happy vaccine. And I am so happy because my baby is completely up to date with her vaccines. And we have the chicken pox, but that's only if she gets it. It's like an occasional vaccine. And this one she'll get in a little while. I do want to open up this accessory kit just so I can have all her stuff ready for when she needs a diaper change or if I want to change her passy or her band-aids. <laughs> So it comes with two little diapers, which I'm gonna store in my little drawer here. Three little piercings, two little band-aids to keep that belly button covered after I take them out of the incubator, and an extra passy. Well guys, I'm gonna let my baby get some rest. We have so much adventures coming soon, so if you wanna see more with our nearly baby, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. In a few days, when she's a little bit older, we'll be able to take her to some fun places and she'll be able to play with some of our favorite characters. I'll also be building her her own little nursery, so don't forget to check back for that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love these toys. I would love to know what you think as well. Don't forget to leave me a comment with your thoughts about our first neonate baby. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.